I have a problem with my car. Um, I changed the uh, mass airflow sensor, and it just starts running for a couple of days, and then um, now it starts rough, and then um, it goes higher and higher, and then uh, if I put on, on drive, it goes back down to normal. So it's got a high idle, is that right? Uh-huh. Okay. I took it to the check engine light. I took it to uh, AutoZone, and it told me it was a mass echo sensor. And I changed it, and it worked for a couple of days, and then now it's back back before I got the new sensor. Okay. <clears throat> well, there's two things that usually cause a higher than normal idle. Well, three things. First, you're going to have to check for any vacuum leaks, and what we do at the shop is we use a smoke tester and we smoke test the intake system for, for vacuum leaks. And it does a really, really good job locating any sort of vacuum leaks at all. It's very safe, it's very efficient. I would recommend that you get that done. All right, so if there are no vacuum leaks, then at that point, this could be a faulty idle air control valve, which is on the throttle body, or this could be caused by a faulty throttle position sensor. Throttle position sensor. Yes, sir. That's correct. Yes, sir, that's correct. Okay, please. And then, what you say with the second one? <clears throat> Idle air control valve. Idle air control valve. Yes, sir. Throttle position so sensor. Yeah, so so first was the vacuum leak, second was the yeah. idle air control valve, and the third one was a throttle position sensor. Throttle position sensor. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, can I change the um, air mask to a throttle zone that I did it? Right, I understand. Those would be the most likely causes. Yes, that's correct. Okay. Um, okay, then. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. Good luck, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye.